We are back here, Nikki Clark Show, and uh, joining me today is a good friend of mine. Uh, she is a writer, a publisher of SMJ Magazine. Please welcome Shelly Jarrett to the show. You look stunning. I love the summer colors you're wearing. Thank you very beautiful, much. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You. You're welcome. Um, and I just want to say congratulations for all the work that you're doing. You've got a magazine, yes. uh, you've got a show. I mean, you're you're yes. you're doing it all. So yes. kudos to you. It takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot of work and discipline, and and you've got a a, a great team behind you. Your husband yes. helps you quite a bit, right? Yes, he does. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's exciting when you're doing what you love to do, and working with people and helping people. It's sure. really a great. It, it's good. It's satisfying. It is satisfying, yes. yeah. Very rewarding. Like, even the yes. long hours. It, oh, it's, yes. It, I am a workaholic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, when we're, we're up on Facebook messaging each other oh, yes. late, the wee hours of the night. So oh, yes. we totally get it. So tell me about your background. You weren't always in publishing and writing. No. Um, actually, I have a social work background. I uh, Many years ago, I went into the social work field because I thought that's what I wanted to do and I didn't stay very long in the field. I only stayed like about two years and uh, I ended up in the financial services pretty much for over 20 years. Okay, yeah, so that was your niche. Yes, yeah. and really I, I, I just fell into the financial field when my kids were little. I wanted to like stay home and do a lot more with them and have a more flexible time. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I ended up in the financial field. And I, I, I love the flexibility and being able to manage my time and that better. So pretty much that's what I did. Okay. Until, um, yeah, until things change and I no longer wanted to be in the corporate you know, field and, and, and all the drama that goes along in the corporate. <laughs> I think I wanted to have a little bit more control over my life and um, because I work for the financial um, banks, you know, I worked and, you know, you have to be there at a certain time and that didn't work so well for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And so I decided in 2012, I wanted a little more control over my life, over my finances. And I thought of entrepreneurship because I thought if I have all this background, why am I like looking for a job or want to go back to a nine to five? And I thought, why not uh, transfer those social work skills? Because it's the same skills, just, they're all transferable. And really that's so I went back to um, to do a female, a women's entrepreneurial course. And um, yeah, and that's how I launched out and started my image consulting business. And I st once I started the image consulting, I started to do, um, again, with that social work background, I wanted to work with women from a more positive um, perspective. I wanted to do a lot more, you know, um, building confidence, building self-esteem. So I got into... Um, doing workshops on dressing women for success in the workplace and um, bringing in all the uh, makeup artists, the hair stylists and beautify that woman. And that's, I felt I found a lot of joy in doing that because I was still helping. Mm -hmm. And that's how that started. Now, how I got into media, I think only God knows. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, I started doing the workshops, I think, um, I felt good about doing it. People enjoyed. I found people were coming. They were following what I was doing. I do a lot of motivational speaking. And I said, one day I got up and I said, I want to take this information to a wider audience. And, and I'm thinking, well, how can I do that? Well, media. And I think thought print media. And I just asked my husband that because he has a previous background in writing. And I said, would you be my editor-in-chief? of this magazine, I'm starting a magazine, what do you think? He said, go for it, I'll, I'll support you. And I just put on Facebook, I'm looking for some contributors to the magazine, and I thought, what would be the magazine about? I knew I love fashion, so I thought, wow, image, lifestyle, business, and that's the three areas that we focus on. And um, image is basically like branding, how to brand, how to dress for success in the workplace or business. And I thought lifestyle, well, I like fashion, so arts and entertainment, of course, um, health and wellness, faith and community, and um, beauty and fashion. And that's how, and for business section, it's giving small businesses in the community a platform to tell their stories. And um, I launched the, the magazine in 2013, and the rest is history. Awesome. Yes, we're yeah. in a, yes. Congratulations. <laughs> 
It's quite an amazing journey. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's it's been fun. It's fun, but also it's hard work. Sure. Um, we use the magazine primarily for um, it's a marketing tool, and we want to get more into um, multimedia. So now our focus is more after five years for this is our fifth calendar year, but four years um, business. Um, we want to get more into documentaries and, sh and films because some of the interviews we do, um, it's a lot more than an interview. It's we really need to be telling people's stories. Their stories are a lot bigger. So I've got the film bug now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we're working on a couple of uh, documentaries and um, yeah, we'll hear of us soon in Toronto. That's amazing. Yes. Okay, another great enterprise. And, yes. and what type of stories are you looking for for your magazine? Um, anything to do with image, like, like I said, image, lifestyle, business. Um, we, we profile um, authors, um, writers, authors, um, fashion designers, anyone that has a small business, you know, across the board. Yes. Awesome. Okay. We do, you'll find me at a lot of fashion shows. We do a lot of fashion shows as well. And, and also we do, um, um, as you know, I'm one of the original 2015 uh, 100 Black Women to Watch. Awesome. And so that, um, I was awarded that. And last year, we do a lot of special editions. Last year, they hired us to do the magazine. And I think this year again, the event, we're doing the, the, the magazine for the program. So I'm happy about that. Fantastic. Yes. yes. Fantastic. Awesome. Yes. And uh, where can people connect and, and purchase um, well, the magazine? I am on all social media platforms. I'm, uh, Facebook is my hub, I call it. <laughs> Everybody knows me on Facebook. But I'm also on uh, Instagram. It's very easy to find me, Shel Shelly Jarrett One. Or um, I'm on Twitter, SMJ Magazine. Or if you just punch in my name and all my social media stuff comes up, you Google me. So, and um, before I, want, I just wanted to say, um, getting, because we wanted to do a lot of multimedia now, I'm getting more into, I, I want women to be able to come together and have conversations. So I'm mm -hmm. looking more at a lot of panel discussions. Awesome. Yes, and so I do have a panel discussion on relationships, interracial relationships, and mm -hmm. how black women feel about dating interracially. That is coming up um, May 29th, and it's gonna be in Brampton. If you, you can find it on the event page or Eventbrite. And yeah, it's just, um, it's gonna be Facebook Live as well, because I want people to interact. I wanna hear people's views, people's Comments. opinions, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of chitter chatter around. So I wanna bring it out in the open. Let's start talking about some of these issues, so. That's where I'm at, and I think I like the unconventional topics. <laughs> sure, and that's a hot topic. Uh, it, it is a hot topic, mm -hmm. and I, um, in, I'm up for it because I, I like it. I myself is uh, married interracially, and I just want to hear what other black women think. Okay, yeah. excellent. So. Well, we're excited for the uh, all the great things that you're doing, you and uh, yeah, I think I'd like to to tune in definitely oh, to definitely that panel be discussion. On Facebook Live. Yes. So that's May 29th. Yes, and it's a lunch and learn, so it's like lunchtime it's it's different and it's exciting uh, i'm waiting happy for it okay awesome yeah. all right thank you so much shelly jared everybody thank you. we appreciate you thank you we'll be back I try to keep a smile upon my face, but every time I try, it slowly erases from my distress. But I know that keeps me blessed. You see, I never could have lose the faith of the Father. Him, the one provides me shelter, keeps me stronger. Him, me motivator, sending me guidance from above, sending me all of His love. Jam me feel like a glove. Anything me do, me me do it for you. Jaya always pull me through the roughest storms and hold me safe in your arms. We have this magical bond. We are one, one. So glad we are together. Jaya, one, one, one. Cause I'm walking, walking. 
in a leap of faith. In your faith, I say, yes, I'm walking, walking in a leap of faith. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. I try to take it day by day, even when things don't go my way. I know it's not an easy road, some days rocky, some ice cold, but tomorrow's another day. That's what Jaawi say, learn from your mistakes, and when you turn on the brakes, cause even when it's cold outside, get ready for the ride, and keep your faith, I say. Cause even when it's cold outside, get ready for the ride and keep your faith. Cause I'm walking, walking in the leap of faith. Your faith, I say, yes, I'm walking, walking in the leap of faith. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yes, I'm walking, walking, devil dash away. I say, I say, yes, I'm walking, walking in the leap of faith. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. One step forward, two steps back, yes. One step forward, two steps back, I say. One step forward, two steps back, that's the way life goes. The devil attacks, but you must stay strong. Just soldiers, and keep your faith, I say. Yes, you must stay strong, just soldiers. Just soldiers. One love to the people out there, you don't know. Casper. And by the way, thanks for the beat. Thanks for the beat. Oh, yeah, 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 that's big, that's big. Josh, DJ Josh, big. Nikki Clark, the boom. Mr. Casper, thank you so much for being here. And uh, well, I think, what, this is a third time around? Uh, it's always, yes. always having, it's always fun having you have great energy. Thank you very and, much. Uh, you too, you're a great singer, as, as I say before. Yeah, we need to link up into that studio and do a collab. I think so. <laughs> what do you think, guys? you think, me and Nikki? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> All right, so um, for those of us who are uh, learning about uh, the Casper experience, how did that start? Well, like I said before, um, I come from a small town called Picton. Ontario and uh, the Jamaican Hanfields came up and picked tomatoes and apples and uh, I had to learn the patois to communicate with them and um, so decided okay uh, let's get some karaoke tapes and stuff karaoke machine go down where they were and we bust up the joint and they they were like whoa you're good you sound like one of us and I'm like great and then I just pushed off from there my career flourished. I've worked with some legends, as I said, in the past. Uh, Coco T, Freddie McGregor, Chip Fu. Uh, names we know well, huh? Legends. Coco T. Yeah, my Coco T fans out there. Oh, big, 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 big. <laughs> so, <laughs> when when um, they were listening to you and they're and they're like, but we it. Exactly. <laughs> and, and you you were, got it. You got yeah. it. But we it. <laughs> and they were and you and you were you know, rhyming and doing your thing. What were you doing? Can you give us a little taste of what oh, that was? Oh, God, let me see if I can do this. Okay, let me, let, let, let me... Oh, yes, you may not be a movie star. You may not drive a big, fast car. But I love you in every way. I love you in every way. I don't know why, oh why, I don't know why. Watch this. Oh man, you may not be wealthy, no drive a fast car, but me not left you when you come back. Something like that. 
So, uh, what do you think? What do you think? Jamaican? Sound Jamaican? Uh, yeah. Some vibes there? Yes, man. Well, you're Jamaican. What do you think? If you close your eyes, what do you I see? I, I think, I think you sound like Freddie McGregor a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Chris and Curry. So tell me um, the name Casper. Where did that come from? Uh, my American friend, he was in the marketing. And he said you got vanilla ice, you got M&M, you got snow. Uh, name a few. And before you know it, he says, like, Casper. I was like, yo. The ghost, you know? <laughs> and he said, yeah, this is a great marketing tool. And then that product, Casper, just went boom. I got shirts, jackets, hats, and just pushed all over the place. Did some karaoke that I did not want to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But I did it, and that opened up the door. And then um, I wore it all over the place, and people say, yo, who's this, who's, who's this guy? What's he think he's doing, right? But... I said to myself, I'm thinking, if they don't know me, that's fine, but at least they know the name on the back of the jacket and the hat, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, boom, and then it went from there, and then my biggest thing was uh, I got on radio with my uh, Masani at, on 105.5 FM. She, t she was the first to play my record. Comes something like this. Original Casper, come on, show up every dance I've seen when you ain't the girl I love. It. Something like that. <laughs> so that is my big tune. Uh, I and like to look out to the audience. Their eyes light up like, whoa. Hey, it comes from the heart, right? I'm not faking it, right? No, no, I'm it, not it, taking no beat. You know? <laughs> Definitely. You've got a special soul. But then, all of a sudden, I was supposed to open up for Ali Dread, which was a, a big show. And then all of a sudden, promoters switched it up and said, you're opening up for Coco T. Whoa. I'm like, <laughs> he's because a legend. he's a legend. I grew up to him when I was 13, right? Mm -hmm. And then, boom, 5,000 people. Casper went it, winded a little, winded up, and killed the crowd. The radio, uh, King Turbo, just played it nonstop. And they were, bless up to King Turbo crew, you know? Boom. This is the newest thing. This is a uh, front cover of American Magazine from California. So that's big. Lovers Magazine, Big Up Kelly, uh, of course. Uh, she's doing it big. Uh, this is an independent magazine for independent artists. And I, I think it's great. And it's also kind of gospel, too. So yeah. Kind of cool. A little mix of, of genres. And then you've got a plaque here. Congratulations. And this is the American Award I won for American the Award. song I just sang. So, my first... American Award, so I'm very happy and blessed. Thank you, God, for that. And uh, this will be the first time I show it. Congratulations. Is it? Is Can I touch it? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Well, you got a few. <laughs> you got a few. I don't have an American Award for Best Reggae Song. So, yeah, <laughs> Casper so. for We Are One. Congratulations. Yeah, so blessed to that, you know. That's beautiful. So that, that, was, that was exciting. I love that. So, so what's next for you? Well, I'm, right now I'm working on um, a new album in uh, Phase One Studios. They're doing the, the uh, uh, fine-tuning for vocals and uh, mastering. I'm mixing it and everything, the album. So it's under AMG Sony Music. It'll be out this summer. Uh, but it, like I was telling Mike uh, in the crowd here, Mike Thomas, imagine that. So <laughs> um, I was telling him when I walked into the studio, there's gold platinum all over the place and it was a dream come true uh, to come in, to go in there and have that respect from them mm -hmm. and we sat down for three hours and we talked and oh it's just a blessing so the new album sorry a little bit emotional the new album is called turn it up so it's it's not a rasta vibe like a lot of my stuff we're actually going into the mainstream pop scene so um like conscious reggae kind of Conscious, but pop. Mm -hmm. And then also, imagine this. I'm going to do some R&B, too. So. <laughs> what? Yeah. Fantastic. You know what, Casper, I really um, appreciate you coming. Congratulations on, on, the, on the honors that you, you should uh, receive. You work very hard, and you've got you. great, great energy. And, and this Thank is something you. that I, I said uh, the last time we met, is that there are a lot of talented people. In, uh, in Canada, oh, the tons. States, Look it, it throughout all. the world, but it's the attitude that is the latitude for success. Yeah, exactly.
stuff. You know exactly. what I mean? And, and you've got it all. you got the whole package, so you Thank keep, you. Keep, keep going. Well, Canada's bigging it up. I mean, look at our Canadian artists are killing it out there, no? So on the billboards everywhere, so. Yeah, they are. It's amazing. And, and you you got to talk to this uh, young man here, DJ Josh Clark. He's, the R&B he's singer. R&B yes. singer. He's got great, great stuff. Great I will material. listen to him, for yeah. sure. All right. Well, thank you very much, Casper. Yeah. How'd you feeling out there, everyone? Nice. Got to give the energy. All right. Do you want to close? You want to do a little something off the top? Didn't I just do like three things off the top? Yeah, but we need more, right? Everybody, you want more? Okay. Just let me one more. What do I have for more? Uh, I'll do when you wind it one more time, but a little bit more on it. Oh, when you wind it, girl, I love the way you come and move up them body. When you wind it, girl, I love the way you come and mash up the party. Let me tell ya, girl pon me, let me send a girl pon me right. Uh, hanging up on my arm, I wanna sleep, sip it slide. I look on the dance floor, see the girl a wind up. Sure. Casper. Casper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll be back.